Hello, and welcome to the Zim JavaScript Canvas Framework. We're going to show you some examples of Zim at zimjs.com, and I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the site now, zimjs.com. We'll press on Examples, scroll down, until we see the Pomp game. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh no! So these things are growing, these circles. Oh my goodness, let's just mute it. <sighs> Those are growing, and what we're going to try and do is click them as fast as we can to keep them all small. And we are seeing how long we can do this. If they hit, you see these two are probably, oh, those ones have hit. Now I can't click them. Oh, I can't click those anymore. Oh, no, I can, oh, da, da, da. oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, 29 seconds. So, and then we get to restart. So that was just a quick game that was used to help teach people in a workshop, a three-hour workshop, how to make games in JavaScript with no prior experience in coding. <laughs> now, if you think about that, a while back, we would never have considered trying to teach how to make games in JavaScript, let alone in three hours. So Zim has really come a long way to make this type of thing simple enough for even the average layperson to be able to create and that's wonderful now while it's while why it is while it is simple it doesn't mean that it's not powerful or professional uh, zim is uh, based on object oriented javascript it's on the latest it's on the canvas um, we've advanced in some exciting ways with Zim as well. So um, we're, I'm an inventor, <laughs> you know, that's what I do. So a lot of, there's a lot of inventions packed into this as well. So come on by and try out Zim at zimjs.com. I'm Dr. Abstract and have a great day. Ciao.